Welcome to the start of a new series on the channel with AFC Wimbledon. If you're excited for a new series, drop a like on it and let's get things underway. Don't necessarily think we'll be in the relegation dogfight. No, we will, won't we? I've looked at the season preview. So let's start with the Royal Cissé, who you might look at and you might think, well, this was this is this is classic Dr. Benji FM. This, this is foolish. Callum Gribbin, a player that I think, if you've played a lower league football manager save at some point, if you've played in League 1 or League 2, you've always got after him on loan from Manchester United. Oh! Pinnock with a great strike! Flipping heck! Left foot! At, at, what is that? Volley! AFC Wimbledon have beaten Sunderland. As the manager, I shouldn't sound as shocked. I should be more like... Of course we have. There was a game plan and we've executed it to perfection. You know, I, I speak about formation man. I need, I need a cape, viewers. I think I need to buy a cape. A formation man cape. Let's, let's, let's do this. I've just, I've just bought a cape. A what? A cape. A cape? A cape. What, like a wizard cape? Mm, more of a superhero cape. What, you've ordered it? Yeah. Huh? Wait, so was it a dream or wasn't it a dream? I, I, run the intro, I think. What? viewers and welcome back then to another episode of AFC Wimbledon. Since we've last met, um, loads has changed. So for those that missed it, I guess we should fill you in on what's occurred since we last met. There's been quite a gap between videos. If you saw my video titled, I lost everything, you'll know that I lost everything, including the AFC Wimbledon save. So how, Ben, how are you playing it right now? Well, luckily, with my superhero powers, uh, we are going to be able to play Plymouth today uh, as we try and get things back on track. Last episode, we did play Bradford and Oxford. We actually lost both of those games, but the, uh, the, the, the key was to get back to the same points tally. So while we didn't win as many games as we did in the previous version of this, we have drawn a few. But the, I guess I say, the most important thing, still on nine points in a very, very similar position down in 19th. And uh, yeah, like surviving relegation still going to be the key this season and plus points are I guess uh, that we managed to get Callum Gribbon back into the side as well as the likes of uh, Debra Cisse uh, and we also got Mvoto to play as well so we're not too bad in terms of the players that we managed to regain uh, after losing them on the previous save so we've got a couple of days before we play the Plymouth game so let's go forward play that and uh, and see how we fare against them uh, just again to recap for everyone then we are 19th nine points obviously some of the teams have now changed positions so the, the way the league looks is slightly different but luckily we're only a few episodes in right so we can continue as we were and uh yeah i'm not uh, hopefully you're not as bothered i'm not as, i'm not that bothered i think we're it's still let's say similar to where we were before so uh, everything should be good playoffs still a distant hope i think it's also worth noting this has never happened to me before so this is this is a new experience oh yeah the mask um the problem with this is i didn't know i'd be getting a mask which was exciting when the, when it arrived um because it's elasticated, all it's doing really is pushing the gl my glasses into my face, which is not which is painful, viewers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear it like this because not only do I look super trendy, um, it's not forcing the blood into my eyes anymore. So that's good, or or I should say restricting the blood around the eyes because it's uh, it's left an imprint. I'm sure of it. Okay, well we've all had we've all had troubles today. We've all had we've all had an incident. The cape's looking good though. I mean, yeah. I'm happy with this. One slight issue is because we've not won as many games, um, and I guess I'll show you the, the, the results, actually. You can see there, we've, we won our opening game against Fleetwood, which wasn't true. We actually beat Coventry as one of our, our successful games, and we, we got like a better result in the Czech Republic Trophy as well. So it's somewhat disappointing. Um, Plymouth today, then, you can see we've not won in ages. So I'm a little bit concerned the board are going to look at this and go, well, he's not... He's not one in ages. So we'll, we'll do our best to get back on track. Uh, but big learning against Plymouth. It's a good one to bring you, really, because we're 19th. They're in 18th. Game time. Pressure's on as well, viewers, which I, I, like. I think we thrive under pressure here at AFC Wimbledon. Unless that pressure forces me to lose the whole save. So, yep, I've got to say that. And I'm, I, I'm, I mean this sincerely. I look, I look great in a cape. I'll tell you now. Like the sort of the side-on profile. 
I'm ready to solve any crimes, any mysteries. I don't mind what it is. Now, Callum Grimmins struggling for a bit of fitness. Uh, it's quite nice that we can talk about this team, viewers, and it is the same as it was before. At right back, it really is a, a toss-up, really, between uh, the likes of Watson and Deji, but Watson's struggling for a little bit of fitness today, so we'll leave him out of this one. Uh, team wise then Trotter and Souls will be in the middle. Uh, Pidic out on the left-hand side, Jervis on the right, Gribbin behind, Pigot up front. Um, and you can see, oh, by the way, my attribute colours aren't what they usually are. Let's, 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 I mean, it's, you know what? let's have a complete refresh. Let's go for a, for the top attribute. Let's go for a brighter green. I want to see how this looks. I realise these players don't have any top attributes. So it's... We'll go to the game. Thing is, right, Grubin's struggling a little bit. And we could play a pyre. But I'm going to I'm gonna stick with Grubin for the first half at least. Okay, I've got to try and re-energise re -energize myself back into this save now. Because obviously when you lose it and then don't play it for a week, you, you disconnect a little bit. But hopefully we can get back on track and uh, do so with a good performance here today. Just the one uh, match for us today as well, just so I can get back into the swing. I don't really want to bring you the coverage of the uh, the, the cup game that we've got as well, the, the Checker Trade Trophy. Because who cares about the Checker Trade? No one does, Ben. No one does. All right, the first highlight of the game, actually, is going Plymouth's way. As Moore, out on that side, is going to put a ball in. Of course, we're the away side, so we've got to dig in a little bit here and, uh, and do our best. We're still going with that wing play approach as well. Our wide players, hopefully, can do the business for us today. Uh, we've been playing more balanced as well this year. We've, we've not lost as many games, but as I say, we've not won as many either. It's been quite draw-heavy. Right, Gribbon, free kick, about 30 yards out. Still about post. McDonald's, a flying save. And what, why is there a car park behind the goal? That is an insurance nightmare, viewers. Let me tell you, as they've now got... A, uh, a quarter for themselves to the back post and sorry i've got to highlight this what what was he doing at the back there it's it's Purrington who i've got an issue with who seemingly is just looking the wrong way for the majority of this the ball's played in he sort of turns and then just turns away just turns away oh, does it look as bad from other angles you see the corners floated in and Purrington just turned away as the ball went to Ugh. it's not what you want from your left back viewers that's that's just i'm putting that out there right now all right, we've got a throw in deep on our half. Purinson's on it. I feel like we need to get a little closer to the action here, viewers, if you don't mind me saying so. We are as pretty much as close as we can be. It now is as occurs to me. As Piggott races through, he's uh, he's tripped himself up, I feel like, and now it's been cleared as uh, Sawyer goes forward. And now, well, they're building this very, very slowly from the back, but they are building something from the back, something we've not been too great at. As the ball over the top to Taylor. Looks dangerous. Purinson's there, though. Back to King. I'm worried about Purinson now after after what he's been doing for me recently. Right, basically from that corner, viewers. Where he's, he's turned his back on, not just me, but the team in general. As um, no, no, I guess the fitness of Callum Gribbons are concerned. As, well, he doesn't get the ball there either. Loses out. And as they race forward again, Plymouth. Danger men everywhere. Shot on goal. And King with a good save. Blimey. Okay, so far, they've they've definitely had the best of this. I think we'll be seeing a pyre at some point for, for Gribbon, who, as I say, fitness-wise, not looking the best out there. So we're 1-0 down, but at least I look good. You know? At least I look good. Right, I'll, tell them, I'll tell them they're a bit unlucky there, but actually what I'm going to do is change everything. We're going to slow things down a little bit, I think, and try and work the ball into Pigger a little bit more. He's playing as that poacher, so he may as well do. Uh, Gribbon's going to come out then, and uh, a pyre's going to come back in. All right, half-time switcheroo. Let's see if we can do it for you. Hey, hello. What would be my power, though? I mean, if I'm, I know formation, man. You know, I'm, I'm all for funky formations. And immediately, right now, we're not using a funky formation. We're using a formation that we're all quite familiar with. But what power would... I mean, comment section. This is where you come into things. Um, yeah. And I will say, as we go into the second half, thank you so much for your patience recently. Um... Yeah, it's been a tough week or so, losing my entire hard drive and then having to get it all back. Um, yeah, with, uh, thank you for watching, still viewers. So if you are enjoying it, do drop a like, because it does make me feel good inside. As uh, the time's ticking away here, viewers, the, the game is pretty much up. Um, there's, a, there's a final chance for us. We've made little substitutions. <sighs> this is coming off. Because that is an embarrassment of, of nothingness. I don't even deserve this cape. It's a lovely cape. The texture's nice and everything. This episode's really just been about the cape. Well, the reality is, though, viewers, and the reality it's home now, is that we've we've fallen again. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be angry. I'm not happy with the result. Plymouth is a side that we need to be picking points up against, really. And uh, Portsmouth are next, and they're top of the table. So we'll probably win that by a few. But no, that's not good news at all. And... Um, you know, the fans have criticised the tactics. Does that, does that say that in the social feed? We're a laughing stock, says Elliot Stringfellow. Um, oh, Brandon there. Just got back from the match. We should have stayed at home, not not enjoying the football. We were shocking today. Absolute disgrace of a result, says Alistair Tonkinson. 
Kellen Betts has got optimism, people. This can't last forever. Not as many likes as Alistair and Brandon, it must be said, but he's, he's doing his best. So not ideal, viewers, is the is the outcome of, of today's match, it seems like. Um, work to be done, and hopefully we will recover this then uh, next episode. Uh, the match is for that episode. Let's take a look at what we can bring you then. I think we should go and look towards the November period. I think that's what we we're going to do originally anyway uh, with Shrewsbury. And an FA Cup first round tie. Maybe you never know who we'll play against. That should be exciting. Uh, so I'll see you for it. As I say, if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow at 5pm for more. We love with care. Goodbye. <sighs> it's nice to get back on the horse, even though the horse did bolt a little bit.